All right, with Russell Detmarine, we have a shot of the day. It's a hole-in-one on number 16. Russell, tell us uh, club, distance, and what did you see? Uh, it was buck 41. I just hit a, just a stock gap wedge. Um, wind was a little off the right, and I hit it, and all of a sudden it went in. So it was, it was a great shot, a great time. Uh, a lot of yelling. A lot of yelling? Yeah. Probably some words I probably shouldn't have said, but you know what? Excited, it happens. <laughs> nice, yeah, exactly. Have you had one before? Yeah, it was my second one. Second. I had one back at Merrill. You did? Yeah, a number of years ago, so. Where, where, uh, what hole on Merrill? That was number 13. Number 13, okay. So you might be the only guy in state history to have one at Merrill Golf Course and Merrill Hill. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah. you got that going for you. So how did that, uh, late in the round, so you didn't have a whole lot of time to get too high or low after it, or what was it like playing after that? Uh, The next tee shot was nerve-wracking, trying to calm the nerves, settle down a little bit. Um, hit an okay tee shot just up the left side, but just tried to stay in my own bubble, and I think I did a pretty good job of it, even with the, all the adrenaline running through me. So now, I mean, when you hit make a hole in one, you're, what do you think you're going to do when you go to 16 tomorrow? And I'm sure they'll have you know the tee locations in a different spot. Obviously, the pin will be in a different spot, but you know, are you, you try to duplicate it. Uh, you know, I've always played by the saying, "Play against par." So. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to make threes. If a two happens to come around or a one, hey, even better. But just going to play my game, maybe get, get one to go low, maybe scare the leaders. Awesome. All right. Well, good job today. Congratulations. Thank you.